Hi, it's Eric here from Eric Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a public key for SSH. Now, obviously, since you're looking at this video, you're looking how to set up one. Probably uh, uh, a company that you're working with that has the remote servers has asked you what's your public key and you want to know how to set that up. Uh, so this is going to be just the part where you set up the public key. It doesn't show you how you go to the remote server and create this authentication process. Now, the benefit of this uh, using a public key instead of using a username and password is that first of all, you can have one public key with one passphrase that can connect to m many remote servers. And that way, you know, you don't have many username and passwords. You can just use the same one. And the other thing is that uh, it's way more encrypted, way more secure uh, way of accessing a remote server than using a username and password. Use, usually username and passwords, no matter how secure they are, no matter how uh, you know uh, complex they are, they, they still can be accessed somehow from like uh, worms or hackers or you know who knows what. So uh, using this uh, method is way better for you. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you now how you can generate this uh, public key. So first of all, we have to open the terminal. Uh, you can open the terminal by going to Go, Utilities in Macintosh, and then Terminal. Or you can just use it uh, by just typing Option uh, Space if you have Alfred installed and just type Terminal. So now, um, once we are at the terminal, I'll show you uh, that you need to navigate to a certain folder that is usually hidden, but that's the right folder that you need to put that uh, public key. So to do that, we go CD, and this is the folder. So it's all the users, then it's my user, the one that I'm currently using in this computer, and then it's .ssh. Now, if you know about Linux and this stuff, if, it's, if it has a dot in front, it's usually a hidden file. So if you go through the normal way of navigating, you know, like go and then go to folder and then you type that, you're not going to see it. It's not there. It's there, but it's hidden. So, so you know, the best way to do it is through the terminal. So now that we have, have this here, we just type enter and then now we are in this folder. Now, once we are in this folder, we can type ls to check what we already have there and I have already this public key set up. Um, but now I'm gonna show you how you can generate one so you can like use it to connect with that uh, remote server. Uh, so to do that, we type ssh-kgen, so kgenerator, and dash t, and then rsa, and then we type enter. Now we need to um, name the file basically that where is this public key going to be stored uh, so um, we need we can even leave it empty and if we leave it empty the file is going to just be called id underscore rsa or we can just name it anything we want like my my key for example like that. you can just call it anything you can think of as long as it makes sense to you, obviously. So I call it my key in this case, just to show you. And then you need to put a passphrase, which is this password that I was telling you. Um, in this case, I'm gonna leave it empty. You can leave it empty, but it's a security risk if it's empty. Uh, in normal cases, when you work with clients, it's better if you you know, put a password. So I will just type it again and then click enter again. In this case, I don't have a password, but you have to put a password if you're working with client servers. So now everything is set up. I'm going to show you um, the new thing that I so so the new the new key that is set up is here. My key, if you remember from here. Now the public one is this one that is my key dot pub. This one is the one that you have to keep on for your own in your computer. This is the one that you need to give to the person that has asked you for the public key or the website, who, you know, what, depending on what's the reason why you need it. So to open that one, I'm just going to use Atom and I'm going to go my key.pub, which is the public key. And just waiting a second and it's going to open. And this is the public key. You can probably just, uh, let me just remove this other one. So, so this is the key that you need to give to that other person or maybe paste in the website or whatever connection you're trying to do. And 
this is the one that you need you can just save as text file and keep it in your desktop and maybe just attach it somewhere or just as a pub file usually as text file is better because they can just double click and get the code and paste it into that authentication file in their remote server so you know the best way is just to have it as a, as a text file um, so th this is it this is the thing and the reason why I'm I can show you this without any problem is that it's a public key if you show it to everybody it's not it's not a problem that's the whole point why it's public so so this is the tutorial. This this is how you set up a public key for SSH. If you have any questions, uh, let me know, and I'll respond in the comments below.